this video tutorial I will explain Spring Boot Free Marker, Form Validation and Data Binding Example. In this example what we will do is, we will create the form which has first name, last name and email. And when user click on submit button, if data is invalid, then we will show the error message like this. And if data is valid, then we will show the submitted data to the user. Here you can see Spring Boot Free Marker Demo. I am opening a pom.xml file. Here I have included the dependency of Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Boot Starter Validation, which is used for data model validation and Spring Boot Starter Free Marker. Here I have defined the class user. It has three fields first name, last name, and email. And here I have applied not empty annotation for each fields to make sure these fields values are not empty. And also I have added email annotation. And it has getter and setter methods for these three fields. Here you can see application.properties file. And uh, here we have mentioned uh, template loader path is uh, the templates directory, which is uh, this one. And uh, suffix is dot uh, ftlh, which is uh, free marker uh, extension. Here I have defined the class uh, form controller, which is uh, controller. It has uh, index method, and uh, this method redirect to form URL. And uh, this method will be called and here we are setting a new user object to the model object and model object is used to share data to the view template and it returns a form and form dot ftlh which is this free marker template and it will display the first name last name and email with the text boxes and the submit button and once user click on submit button, this form post method will be called. And here we have put valid annotation. So the data validation will be triggered. If any validation error is there, that will be set to this binding result. And model object is used to share data to the view template. If binding result object has no errors, then uh, this no errors uh, key will be set as true and uh, that will be set it to the model object. If uh, binding result has error, then uh, user object will be set to model object and uh, the view template will be called. If it has error, then uh, it will show the error message and uh, if there is no error, then uh, this part will be executed and uh, it will show the submitted data. We will start the application and uh, we will see the result. Here I have defined the class uh, application which is uh, Spring Boot application. I am starting this application in uh, debug mode. Now I am going to send request to this path and uh, request reached here and uh, it redirects to form URL. It came here and it displays the form. And without giving any value, I am clicking on submit and request reached here. And binding result has errors. So it reached here. And here we got the error messages. I am giving a invalid email ID. Click on submit. And binding result as errors. And it is saying the email address is invalid. Now I am giving a proper 
values request reached here and uh, binding result uh, does not have uh, any errors so it is displaying the submitted data you can get uh, java source code link from the description of the video in mobile to see the description click on uh, this icon it will expand like this and uh, here you can see the description it contains uh, java source code links click on these links to get the java source code 